welcome back to the class of uh, reservoir simulation we are discussing the data file for eclipse in the previous section we just talked about the introduction title and so on dimension that what run spec section it has we said that in the run spec section the most important part is we put the title we, said we put the number of blocks how many blocks are required as we said that in discretization that we have to divide the reservoir into the small blocks so how many blocks you want in x u y and z direction then in the phases how many phases since we are dealing with black hole model right now so how many phases it has oil water gas you know dissolved gas or what what kind of units you are going to use how many wells you are going to have and the, when you are going to start the day these are the output files and then we will discuss them later when is needed then we have the grid section well in the grid section we talk about the thickness of the grids for example you have a block you have a block like this one like this one you have a block so you have four blocks now here so what is the x length of it and depth of it and width of it so dx the length width and we have to mention it in the grid section so for example if i show you here in this uh, data one of the data files that i have opened in the data file here if you go at the top here we define our phases these are the grids 7 in x 7 in y and 3 in z now if we go down we talk about the grids in grid we said this is the feet 500 feet because we are using this the units that we are using is here field field unit so this 500 is feet dx and this y is 500 feet and dz is unit. so each grid block is 500 feet here here this one and porosity here is 0 0.3 permeability here is in x direction is 500 z direction is 50 the top is from the reservoir top is 8325 feet and then we have a, a dz we have three layers as we described here we have three dimensions, three layers of it. So here you can see we have three dz, dz1, dz2, and dz1. First layer is 20 feet. Second layer is 30 feet. So if we describe, for example, as I show you three layers here. So this is the first layer. Then we have the second layer, 20. This is the 30. And this is the 50. So this is one two three layers and uh, this is here is 20 which this here is 30 and this one here is 50 and this one is described if you look at the data file here this is 20 if you describe it here this is 30 and you describe here is 20 and the permeability inside here permeability x is okay x is 200 as you see here it is mentioned here oh this one likewise permeability here is 50 for so permeability is different here and this for them so in the grid section actually we define the rock property porosity permeability grid size reservoir and tops and so on okay now we go ahead and look further into more here the tops xyz direction permeability in three direction porosity these are the main parts that we define then we have the property section now in the property section first of all you need to know what is relative permeability okay water relative permeability so we define water relative permeability here capillary pressure also as a function of water saturation so then we have the oil relative permeability and gas relative permeability and capillary pressure in three phase system so let's look at it how they look then we talk about the pvt property viscosity and uh, so we are talking about two fluid property here in, in property section one is the relative permeability data another one is the the fluid properties formation wall factor viscosity and uh, compressibility and rock compressibility density these kind of things are described here here when you make the reservoir model you need all this data otherwise you, your model cannot run so now let's look at the property so 
so you see this is SWFN here SWFN this is the water relative permeability here then we have the SOF2 this is the oil relative permeability here then we have the PVTW this is the PVT for formation volume factor and now we have other values here also this one this one this one we don't know what is it but I will teach you how to find out that what is this value what is this value what is this value and this I will do after we finish the <coughs> number of sections that we have so here you see the rock compressibility here is the density here is the density here stock tank fluid density and uh, this is the gas PVT data this is the pressure versus viscosity and so on the PVT of oil data so this data fluid data and properties are given in the property section here in the prop section here and then we have the solution section one more section that we have is the solution section so in this file there is no solution section so let me teach you what is okay in the solution section we talk about the fluid contact like where is the oil water contact gas water contact this data is, is needed and what kind of reports you need for this one so in, in this file we talk about the equal data this is the what are the depths where is oil water contact where is gas water contact so this is important for for that section this part and then these are the the, the eclipse data files that about for the report what kind of reports you need there then we have the summary section this summary section is very important like okay you are running the simulation what do you want for example in my case what i am interested right now how much oil we have produced so far so field oil production total let's say you run the simulation for five years so in five years how much total oil you have produced then you want to check the graph how much is the current production rate oil production rate you have then we have we want to check what is the field gas oil ratio okay how much is the oil gas oil ratio it is how much is the for example you are injecting water how much water is injected in the reservoir so efficiency field pressure bottom pressure so on field gas production rate field gas production total I mean, you, you name it all the keywords are there you have to to see what graphs you are looking for and it will tell you in summary section so if you look at the, this file that we are dealing with here we have the summary so in this case we have fgpr so fgpr is field gas production rate we have oil f field oil production rate field water production rate field water cut field gas oil ratio so these are the things that are needed this, for now for example we don't need it so i will teach you how to find out what is it now in the next lecture so for now just see like what kind of sections we have and what are their main key properties that we are dealing with okay then we have the schedule section now this section is very important because whatever wells you are going to put here you are going to put there so let's look at its main keywords what the keywords we have that we need to know tuning well specs com debt wcon product wcon injection wcon history and time steps or dates so the well specs is the one which if you want to put new well for example you have one well already you have two wells already now you want to put new well so you are going to start put the well in the well spec section here put here you will put the data then here it defines the properties of the well specs these both are very much connected and then production data how much you are producing from the well or if you are not producing how much you are injecting so control data for production or if there is any injection well or if any history matching well so you put this data here also and and what frequency of time data you need so all this information is given in the schedule section so let me show you here here the schedule section so for example here in this case if you look at this file we have we have this file we have the well specs here okay then we have the comb debt here so well specs it has three well three line three well producer well injection gas injection water again the question is what is this g what is this seven what is this seven eight thousand four hundred and oil this we need, i will tell you how to find out and this will be your assignment also to find out how how are those 
So well specs, you define your well. Come that you tell them that okay, we are going. This is the bottom hole pressure of it. The well is open. This is the location of the well, seven seven three seven one 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 and one 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 so on. Then we have the W corn production for productive well and W corn injection for so the production parameter like this is the production rate and this is the pressure of the well and the well is open it's oil well for the injection you have the water well then you have the injection of gas well and the data is given then we have the time steps you see here the T step and which well is open which well is shut so in injection gas is shut injection water is open so time step is given in this terms so these are the same things here given here as you can see okay summary section okay this here we were so these are the keywords as we talked about so now in the next keyword the schedule section we talked about it okay after you you have all this section time steps these are with all the time steps when it's scheduled for each year year six year seven whatever run you want to run so it has all the data in the end you have you end it you write end and simulation ends here these are the 20 years schedule given in this data file so this was the general introduction of the data file and uh, that we are going to work on now our next uh, one will be to look to run the simulation and see how it works so now i will upload a lecture on uh, how to install the software and how to run the file and how to look at the data then we will solve the sample case study to see how it all works so till that time enjoy this lecture and i hope that you will learn to understand the data files in a very nice way.